Brad, congratulations to the Ultimate Fighter winner. What does this mean to be a Canadian, to be the first Canadian to, to win this on an original Ultimate Fighter, not a Tough Nations show? It means a lot. Um, you know, fighters are selfish. We do it usually for ourselves. Um, but anybody else you can represent and, and, and kind of do it for is just just bonus. So to me, to be the first Canadian uh, to win a, the regular season is huge. John Cameron also, he's been wanting it for a long time, you know, he's, and, and knowing that the Ultimate Fighter might come to a close soon, you know, it, it meant a lot to, uh, to to win the trophy and bring it back. What was going through your head when you got your hand raised just, uh, just a couple hours ago? Just pure, pure bliss. Uh, you know, it wasn't, uh, I, I, I knew you know, I, I, I was the winner at that point. Uh, I was going for that finish. I really wanted, wanted to finish. But I knew going in there, and I said it in all the interviews, Jay is one tough man. You know, he, he, there's no quitting him. He, at any point, if I would have lost the back in that third round, he would have been back on his feet trying to swing for the finish. You know, he's, he just has the will of a winner. And, uh, you know, it's just important for me to stay sharp. And at that point, you know, after that third bell, I knew that was it. Was there anything about Jay that surprised you in the fight? Not much really, really surprised me. You know, I, I felt like he'd be gritty, uh, and I felt, and I, and I knew he could potentially hit hard, and I felt both those mostly on my guard. Thankfully, N nothing uh, landed too, too cleanly, at least that I remember, uh, w w which I'm thankful for because I, I knew he was uh, throwing heat. Uh, he did. At constant pressure, I was surprised I couldn't back him up. Uh, looking back on it, uh, he applied just a lot of pressure. And I just had to keep on sticking and moving. Good thing my conditioning was on point. You see some ice on your foot. Uh, how is the foot right now? Anything you can tell us? Uh, the foot's fine. It's just going to be swollen. Uh, decided to boot him right in the knee. Wasn't a good idea looking back on it. Maybe I should stop doing that because after the Bryce Mitchell fight, after the Kyler Phillips fight, same thing. I was I icing up my legs after, but. Uh, you know, this time it looked like it didn't hurt him when I kicked him in the knee, but I decided to do it again. And at that point, it was like, okay, enough of that. Uh, I need to ice it for a little bit, but it's all good besides that. What did John Kavanagh say to you after you uh, won? Uh, trying to trying to think. It's it, it's all it all just happened so fast. You know, uh, he 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 was certainly proud, which which means a lot, uh, especially in my first fight out of SBG to, to get the victory and get a prize that he's been wanting meant a lot. Uh, I believe he called me the ultimate fighter and defeat winner, which feels pretty good. You know, it definitely feels pretty good. Where's the trophy going to go then? Are you going to keep it in SBG or are you going to take it home? I'm not sure. I'm not sure he's going to win that fight. My parents are uh, all, all, all drawn, you know, those two against one there. And even though he's uh, BJJ Black Belt, you know, you get an angry mom uh, coming at you, you know, it's going to be hard to pry it away from her. We'll, we'll see. Uh, I wouldn't mind putting it in the gym. Uh, just coming in every day and seeing it would be would be quite special. This is the featherweight, uh, I guess, uh, competition trophy, but you normally fight a bantamweight. Is that, is that where you're going to be heading back to next? Uh, I, I, I feel like Bantamweight's the size where I'm most optimized for, you know, I, 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 I wouldn't be that much smaller than my opponents. Now these featherweight camps, they're fun, you know, I, I, I get to eat since since the show, I've, I've, I've been able to eat pretty much as much as I want, eat to perform, and, and, and that's a lot of fun. Uh, you'll probably hear from my girlfriend, she would like me to stay at featherweight just for my mood, but uh, I'll probably be going back down to Bantamweight, like I said, that's why I think I, I, I'll, I'm the best, and uh, that's why I have the best shot of chasing that title. You mentioned your girlfriend. She's fighting next week for King of the Cage. Uh, have you talked to her yet since you won tonight? Yes, I talked to her. She was the first person I called, answered a couple text messages, but uh, besides that, I called her right away, and uh, you know what? We, we kind of expected this. You know, it, it, it's, it's, you, you never want to get too big in the celebration and in a victory and never too down in defeat. It's just staying fairly even keeled and you know it, it, it's nice I'm, I'm going to enjoy tonight I'm going to enjoy tomorrow but as soon as I'm healed back up uh, it, it's just continuing improving. This is the sport I love and, and I'm just I'm just thankful that I could be pursuing my dream. And you're going to corner in that fight when are you leaving uh, to go do that? So I, I, I'll, I'll be 
leaving here on Sunday and then will be leaving the Thursday before her fight, which she's fighting the 14th. That would be the 12th, I believe. Uh, so we'll be driving out on the 12th. They'll be cornering her uh, on, on, on Saturday night. And, uh, you know, we'll make it 2-0. Uh, the UFC's coming to Toronto in December. Are, is that the card you want to be on? Uh, I know, uh, you know, it's one of the biggest cards of the year uh, in Canada. You know, it would be my second choice if uh, my, my my teammate Conor McGregor fights for fights for uh, Khabib for the title. I definitely definitely like to be on that card, especially the rumors are October. I'd love to be going then. I'm I'm fairly healthy, so the plan would be just go back. Continue. I, I did 12 weeks for this. I don't want to throw all that conditioning away. I want to build off it. So if I could compete again around then, that would be great. You know, if that doesn't work out. Fighting in Toronto would be would be amazing. Good. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.